Boydy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Maga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Beastars chapter 134. So last chapter was really interesting because we got to uh, see the life of Liano and how like shallow she was uh, for most of her life. That she felt like she had to be this perfect character. And you know what? It's kind of relatable in, in um, a lot of ways. Because, like, if you think about it, especially, like, with um, people that are mixed race, uh, there are people that are that feel like they have that struggle with their identity in that in that way. And I really like that this manga is capturing that aspect of life. And I think it's beautiful. Um, but, uh, and I think that reveal of um, Miano's back, and, like, when she said she was, ex she wanted to have something that would, you know, last forever. And she was kind of accepting of her fate. Uh, near the end but those scales on her back were just oh they were so beautiful but she but even though she thought in a way she thought she was beautiful she, I think she at the same time she realized that society wouldn't see her that way and society would shun her because you know how society is in general when you're different but anyway let's get to this chapter and see what happens next Lugosi have a school have a school I changed seats. I'm sitting next to my friend now and I'm happy for that and on my way home I plucked a bunch of dandelions for you um, good boy. Thank you. Oh, man. So, this is when, um, uh, Liano is in isolation. And this chapter is titled Final Contact. What cute flowers. We had to put them in, a, in water and let them grow. Want to come buy a vase with me? There's a flower shop at the shopping district down the corner that sells vases. I'm sorry. I'm scared to go outside. Because remember what I said at the beginning. She's scared of, uh, Liano is scared of how people are going to see her. Lugosi, you're back. I got finished with work early. Want to make spring rolls with me? Welcome back, Grandpa. Okay. How was school today? I changed seats and now I sit next to Jack. That's great. We need to invite him here again sometime. Look at Liano. Grandpa, is Mom not coming out of that room? Mm, oh, don't worry about her. Um, Her body's just unwell, so she doesn't have her uh, usual vicar. She can't stay in that room forever. She'll come out eventually. I'm sure she wants to see you grow up. When you were in elementary school, my body had morphed to where I couldn't show myself to you and um, to you or your grandfather. I'm sorry I couldn't pay more attention to it when you needed it the most. Not that my apology means anything now that I'm a ghost. Don't worry, I knew you didn't want to go outside because you were worried about how you looked. Um, you knew? I could feel your fixation towards outward appearances through that hole. You would hold your hand and to pat my head and then proceed to touch my face. It was like you were checking how my facial features were doing. So you knew, but that um, so you knew, but that was how I expressed my love for you. I didn't want you to go through the same metamorphosis that I was going through. I was checking to see if you had any scales, uh, but uh, um, as I had intended, your fur was beautiful and your body was sturdy. Uh, I had no doubt you were going to be a normal gray wolf. Like you could totally understand why Liano didn't want to go out. Like seeing this, it's totally understandable. She had like look at her mouth. And, Oh, God. Yeah, you could totally understand that. It's okay now. I'm sure of it. When I checked that you were okay after you had turned 12, I felt a burden lift from my shoulders. It's time to leave this room. It was time to say goodbye to my son, Lugosi. Oh. The night before I killed myself, I went to your bed and hugged you from behind and slept beside you for a little while. I'm sorry I didn't wake, uh, bother waking you up. I suppose I was a selfish mother to the bitter end. I'm sorry for fooling you, huh? You see, I was surprised and happy when you came to my futon after all the times you talked to me behind that door. I wanted to hug you back and see your face, but I didn't. Um, I knew how hurt you would have been if I'd looked at you, so I stood as still as I could. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Mom, I feel regret every time I remember that night. If I had given in to my emotions and faced you back then, maybe I could have stopped you from killing yourself. That's why I wanted to face hybrid animals, but I got too emotional and almost got killed for it. Ugh, I always screw up when it matters most. I'm such an idiot. My life is full of regrets. Life is always full of regrets. Trying to make up for your regrets is how you live it. I still have many regrets in my life, but I gave birth to you. That alone makes me a winner at life. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry I wasn't a good mother to you. Even though I still love you, I can't hold you anymore. Live more, Lugosi. You share my blood and your grandfather's blood. You could be stronger and sweeter than any pure-blooded wolf ever could. Lugosi isn't doing so well. Gosha, do you hate me? No, thank you for telling me as soon as you found him. I'm not going to fly into a blind rage or anything. That is, 
if Lugosi does wake up, ooh, ooh, Grandpa's mad. Oh my God, oh my God. Ooh, Grandpa, Grandpa is gonna go nutso. Trust me, when Lugosi wakes up, and Gram uh, Grandpa's gonna go on rampage. Krampus go go on rampage with Lugosi. Oh, I'm ready for this. I'm so ready for this. Because, like, I, I can't actually, I can't wait for the conversation that Lugosi and, um, and, uh, and Gosha are going to have after Lugosi wakes up and uh, from this. It's going to be very, very fascinating. But, oh my god, like, this is so heartbreaking. But, like, you couldn't understand why Leona killed herself. I took, Le or I said Liana and said Leona. I understand why Leona did it. Like, she couldn't bear it anymore. And, like, I feel so bad for Lugosi because Lugosi's like, if I would have turned around when, when she was holding him, like, he probably could have convinced her to not do it. But at the same time, she couldn't go outside anymore because she was so mutated. Oh, gosh, this is so heartbreaking. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that if Lugosi would have turned around and would have made that difference, do you think it would have changed anything? And what do you think about Gosha? You think Gosha is... And do you guys kind of think that Yafa, that, that, that motherfucker did this on purpose? Because he wanted... Because remember, he wanted Gosha to come back to fight side by side with him. So you know what's going to happen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more B-Star content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can join into my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.